All right. So, as knife collectors, as enthusiasts, um, we go through whether we are users, whether we are um, collectors, we go through different stages of anxiety. Or so I've uh, seen and heard. And I've talked about this in the, uh, in the magazine. I've, I've written an article about it. And I'd like to discuss a bit uh, of a couple of these anxieties that uh, we may go as uh, collectors. And uh, for example, and that uh, they have things in common and that at the same time, the antidote to those is going to be pretty similar. And yeah, just so that you know, that's going to be developing patience and understanding, comprehension. So there's the answer. End of the video. <laughs> Anyways, the anxiety of having the last, um, the most modern, the last um, drop, uh, the anxiety of not being able to get that one or uh, the anxiety of not being able to... Um, to find that peace again. These three different anxieties um, are pretty similar. Um, within their nature. And it's just something that we're not going to be able to battle with. It's just something that we're just not going to be able to win. Why? Because, well, we would have to talk about the, uh, the luck of the draw. And even if you're a lucky person, how lucky can you be as to be able to catch every single drop of the knife you want? Isn't that so? at least and I've known a few people and uh, a few lucky people but not as to being able to say that they've gotten each and every one um, of the knives that they were hoping for from the last drop or how many times have you heard from someone that uh, they f have finally, finally found that one knife that they were looking for for such a long time. And then they let it go. For some reason, they just didn't close the deal. And they never found that piece again, or at least at a price, at a reasonable uh, trade, and uh, they went on uh, on their knife journey, and uh, well, that became their white unicorn. And that's because that's just the nature of life. We are not set, we're not made to have everything, period. Anything else, they're just fairy tales. Or uh, this new age speech, this new era speech of uh, being able to get everything you want, right? Yeah, right. That's just a whole lot of BS. So... The antidote to that is stop eating that BS and realize, just uh, take a shower of reality. Chances are we might get a couple of those special pieces that we uh, 
we're looking for, right? We might get lucky and get five or six pieces, but if we have a collection of 100 pieces, then I can absolutely bet that you wouldn't be able to have all those 100 pieces of those last drops, of the last 100 drops of every single knife that you wanted from different brands or different names. It's just not in the cards and not in reality. But, you know, there are those that always say that, yeah, you can get whatever you set your mind to. That's BS. And it just ticks me off when I hear that. Ah, that's not true. We've, uh, this, we've seen this throughout history and with uh, very powerful and very brilliant people. And uh, that's not... That's just not focus. Hello, hello, focus. There we go. That's just not true. I don't know why we keep on believing this. This false hopes. And that's my dog wanting me to throw the frisbee. Exactly when I'm recording which I just did so anyways those anxieties how, how can we deal with those anxieties well the best um, antidote for those anxieties is um, a big shot and I do not like shots um, a good old vaccine of reality Isn't it? Just realize, hey, we are in this game, the game of collecting. <coughs> oh, excuse me. In the knife world, and we know how things move, how things go so very fast in this um in this world. Sometimes it takes seconds for a drop to disappear and never come back again. By the way, each one of these knives has, is a um, has a blade pattern that is not uh, very typical and I've been very lucky that's why I brought them out brought them out because I've just been very lucky to get to get these patterns I was just cooking with this one Cuts like a dream. So, a good vaccine of reality. That is the best medicine. That is the best antidote. And the other anxiety that is who that's one of the one of my capital sins and that would be um, the anxiety of just buying of uh, that monster of you know one more we all know that monster don't we and how it can get us into big financial problems. And that's the least. So, 
a good antidote for that monster is to notice when the monster comes out, right? Because sometimes um, we might be having a bad week. Sometimes we might be going through some difficult time, times. And sometimes it's detonated or triggered by stress. If we're stressed out, sometimes that monster of one more awakens with stress and so that anxiety becomes alive once again and then we end up with huge collections do you know what i'm talking about and so i've written about seven different anxieties that uh, as we as collectors may have or that I, I've seen in other collectors um, and but I'd like to know th that I I spoke about in the magazine um, it's a, a Spanish magazine or a magazine in Spanish uh, which is uh, Blades the professor's magazine and so that was the last article and I thought it was interesting enough to talk about it and um, share with you guys and also ask you what anxieties as a um, enthusiast or as a collector do you have? And how do you deal, how do you cope with uh, those anxieties? So, let me know down in the comments about your anxiety. Meanwhile, I hope you have a great week ahead. Professor EDC out.